Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video is show how to create a wood material. It's really easy. And yeah, let's jump into it. But before, I just want to mention I've got a Patreon. So what I'll do is I'll upload this material. I've got a lot of other materials that you can download if you remember. No pressure. But if you want to check it out, link in the description. But without further ado, let's jump into the video and create the wood material. So Shift A, Mesh. Let's do it on a cube this time. Usually we do it on an icosphere, but let's hit it on a cube. Go to shading, shift, zoom in, and then what you want to do is go here and change this, uncheck it, and make sure you're in cycles. Okay, then hit new. Okay, then what you want to do is go shift A, get a color ramp, boom. To then get a noise texture, so shift A, type in noise, boom, and then plug the noise into the color ramp. And then what you want to do, click on noise texture and go control T to get this. Um, if you don't have it, just go here to edit, preferences, just type in node, and check this. So ticket, go here, right click. And then when you do it, it will work. So then just hit Control T. So select it, hit Control T, and this will pop up. And then plug the color, the color ramp, which is the base color of the principal PSDF. And then go to mapping. So go to Y and make it like 10. So we're getting something like wood, if that makes sense, it's like a wood material. And then you can see uh, it's not working there. So you can play with the X. Just so you get something on this side as well. And just to get a bit more contrast, you want to just bring this in. So like that looks good. And then what you want to do is you want to get the color now. So select the black. Bring it up. You want to get like a brown. So let's go here. Something like that. And then this one. You can bring it down, so make it a bit darker. like a dark brown and in this one like a light brown click on it boom and you can always play around with it and get something that you like this is obviously not exact what you could even do is like look for the value of a the what do you call it the x the hex value of the of like wood and then you just paste it in there if you want okay now what you want to do is bring this in And let's just swap these around. And this one. Again, that looks pretty good. You can obviously fine tune it, but that's what I think looks pretty good. And then what you want to do is bring this roughness up. Something like that. Now yeah, what you want to do is bring this detail up. It's about 9.8. And what you want to do is go Shift A, get a bump node. Plug the normal into the normal of the principal BSDF. Plug the factor of the noise texture to the height. And look how nice it's starting to look. And then if it's a bit too dark, intense, you can just bring the strength down. You can see if I bring it all the way down, it's like no bump. If you want it like very detailed, you can make it one, or you can just bring it to somewhere like that. And then you can always adjust it now. You can adjust the sliders. If you want it darker, if you want it like less, you can play with that. But you want something kind of, something like that, you can always bring in more, just so you find something that you like. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And then you can apply it to other materials. So I've got a layout. You can just hide this cube. Go shift A, get a aquifer, boom, bring this up. Yes, let's scale it up. Right click, shade smooth, and then hit new, boom, and make it 0 1. Let's have a look. And then do yeah, boom. 
then obviously you'll have to play with the scale until you find something that you like. This looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. And you can go here to shading. You can see how nice it looks. So what I'll do is I'll upload this to the Patreon. So if you're a member, you can download this for free. Well, you technically you pay per month, but yeah, helps me in the channel a lot. But no pressure. Otherwise, you can just create it and use it with pleasure. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What I'm going to do is create the thumbnail. If you want to stick around and watch with me and watch me create it, you can. Otherwise, you can click off the video. But yeah, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What I'm going to do is uncheck these and go to X, G, bring it up. Then go Shift A, Mesh. Plane, bring it in, let's just do this. Then go tab, click here, click here, E, extrude, click here, control B to bevel, boom, right click, well, tab, right click, shade smooth, go to camera, let's change this, boom, 1920. 1080. Okay, let's bring this down. G. I actually bring it further back. X. G. S. Let's get it down. G. Something like that. Okay, now we can zoom in. With our camera. Click here. Y. Bring this in. And then just actually make it a bit bigger. That looks good. Camera. Y, let's bring it up. Let's bring in the H to R, so click here, boom, boom. Bring this one in. And now let's have a look. It's looking nice. Let's just bring it a bit more forward. G. And then S. Scale it down. That looks good. G. Bring it down, S, perfect. Then go R twice, that looks good. Let's just change the background. So it's gonna use real time materials, boom, basics, basic surface. And let's just change this color. Let's make it like a let's make it like a dark gray. See something like that looks perfect. Change this. Then let's just zoom in a little bit more. Why? Perfect. And there we go. And then all I do is just change this. Make it 300. And then 256. F12 render done.